there are teenage girls commenting on a alleged murderer's Instagram account. What's that about? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Zaria Smith and I typically make commentary videos just like this one. So if you're interested in that or interested in me, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I upload, which is on Mondays and on Fridays. And before I start, I just wanna give a really quick disclaimer. So if you know what's happening in the world right now, it is very scary, there are protests happening, there is no justice, no peace, and I feel like that I, as a black person, a black creator, I feel like that I need to acknowledge this before my video because I feel like that it wouldn't be doing justice i definitely do understand that times right now are very scary especially for black people right now and obviously i will put down links to donate to george floyd's um to his gofundme and i will also put down the link for the petition for george floyd and all of the other black people Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, so many more people and I'll put them in the description below because it is very important to me and that is all that I can do is with my small platform um, is to do this so look in the description for that and also <clears throat> make sure to like this video if you guys do like it at any point um, and leave a comment because those actually really helped me grow my channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the murder suspect, Peter. I don't know how to pronounce his name. He's probably a murderer, so it doesn't matter. But it's like Man Free Donut. I'll put it on the screen. That's his last name. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry. But yeah. I was on TikTok, as I am most times of the day. And I came across this TikTok video. I'll put it on the screen for you guys to watch. And it is very interesting. I'll move, I'll put it there. TikTok that kind of started my interest in this topic because if you guys don't know this I actually love true crime I love looking at you know stuff like that I love the my favorite murder podcast and this podcast will kill you I just love watching true crime things so then when I saw that this alleged serial killer was trending on TikTok um I also know that there are different sides of TikTok so you guys may have not even seen that um but that is, you know, what kind of sparked this video. So you might be wondering, who is, who is Peter Manfredion? Still can't pronounce his name. I'll let you guys know. So he is a 23 year old University of Colorado senior. Um, he, and the interesting thing about him is that he was an advocate for, um, protecting people against gun violence. He would, he raised money for anti-gun violence charities. He had a Sandy Hook bumper sticker on his car about the Sandy Hook victims. Um, he, he even like writes on his own personal Facebook page, like how deeply he's been affected by Sandy Hook and many other shootings and how much that scares him. Um, yeah, for some reason he can murder people. I don't know, but um, he is um, from the New England area and he works, he has a job. He's probably fired from his job right now because he's currently in jail, <laughs> but he worked, um, he worked in a job, I don't know. And um, that is pretty much all that I could find about Peter. Um, there isn't much, obviously, and his Instagram account is now private, so I can't, couldn't really find much, but I do know that he has a dog and his dog is very cute. 
But my question is, who's watching his dog? Maybe I'm asking the wrong questions. I don't know. The main thing that people are saying about him is that, oh my gosh, he's so cute. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I have a certain type of man that I like. I don't know. But to me, he's not cute. But also, he's a literal murderer like Ted Bundy, like Jeffrey Dahmer, like John Wayne Gacy. Any murderer, no murderer to me is going to be attractive. He is a suspected murderer therefore why are you guys commenting on his posts i will put some of the comments here um why are you commenting on this man's post there are girls commenting their addresses obviously i'm not going to put th that on here because i'm not going to expose some young teenage girl's address on the internet um if i can help it um but that's crazy. I don't know, maybe that's just, you know, me, you know, being mean, but you don't comment your address to a potential murderer to come and murder you. Maybe that's just me. But this is what the man did, if you guys were curious. He used a machete to kill a 62 year old man by the name of Theodore Demers Friday morning, which would be not much, like, it makes sense in my head, I promise. Okay, um, he also injured a person who was trying to help Theodore as he was murdering him, allegedly. Um, he also allegedly killed Nicholas, I feel bad not knowing how to pronounce his name, but I'm just gonna say Nicholas um, and I'll put his name on the screen so you guys can know. Um, but he was 23 and he is said to be a friend from high school and um, he also abducted his girlfriend who was also 23 and he forced her into a vehicle so he kidnapped her and um, he abandoned her in a v in his vehicle at Patterson in Patterson he abandoned the girl um, in his vehicle at a rest stop in New Jersey after they kind of found out he was on the run, the police were trying to find him and then it was found that he owned a car that had a Sandy Hook bumper sticker on it and that is essentially what made law enforcement, that made law enforcement find him. He also took an Uber from the rest stop to Hagerstown. But regardless, he is currently in police custody so it is good. Um, but this is an issue. You might be wondering what's the issue with a bunch of teenage girls finding this guy attractive and commenting on his post, if you know. And the thing is, is that my generation is so desensitized to literal murder. I feel like it has something to do with the fact that we watched Happy Tree Friends, which was a bunch of rap. It was murder, constant murder. <laughs> We had so many terrifying TV shows that included literal murder that now we watch these shows and we watch these people that are literally dying and we're just like, mm, you know, I've seen worse, you know? And even like with video games getting more gory, I'm not talking bad on video games. I literally play video games. I literally play GTA 5 all the time, but it is scary how like desensitized we are over like these things like it's scary like what's gonna happen if one of these serial killers that are coming up they see these teenage girls finding them cute and commenting their addresses and then he goes and kills them that's terrifying and i'm happy that the police were able to find him and keep him in the custody that's the one good thing that police have been doing recently um, if i'm gonna be honest but it's just scary how like desensitized people are. Um, and definitely be wary of stuff like that. Um, yeah, that's the video. <laughs> um, if you guys enjoyed it, please give it a like. Like I said, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm and pushing my videos to more people. Leave a comment on your opinion about this court case and about the girls on TikTok kind of like posting about how cute he is and how attractive they find him. Um, make sure to subscribe if you liked this video. You probably did because you watched this long or you're my mom. If so, hi mom. Um, but stay safe guys. And if you're out there protesting, please take all precautions. It is not worth losing your life too. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.
Bye guys. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world.